Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your collective reading. I go by the name of Q. This is Claire Audience Truth Speaker. And I welcome you all to your collective reading. I will you all a blissed on this Wednesday. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. We are going to tap in and get a little message, a little download from spirit and see what you all have coming in, what's going out, what's going on with your energy. I will, everyone is blissed, as I said. If you are new, welcome to the Soul Tribe, Soul Family. Welcome to the channel. I will that my energy, the way that I read, resonates with yours. And more importantly, that you find a little nugget of information here that you could take with you, maybe some confirmation, affirmation. So we are going to delve in. Um, if you are new here, the way things work on my side of the planet is I am an intuitive reader. I am also an empath and I am clairaudient. So during my readings, I listen to music and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, the numbers on the cards, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all blends beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it go, let it flow. Do not try to force anything ever to be your story. Check your natal chart, see where your other placements are, and watch those uh, readings that correspond with those other placements. Uh, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video popped up in your feed, uh, whenever you felt compelled to click play, whether by means of the timestamp, whether by means of the title of the reading, that was divine timing, and in divine order that you've done so, beloveds. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I thank y'all so much for always showing love, for always just, you know, showing up in the comment section, for always showing up and showing out on my Etsy shop, booking your consultations. Um, I truly appreciate you all. Uh, to anyone who's been interested in booking a spiritual consultation, I have made some adjustments to my prices. So um, you could check the description box and there's an Etsy shop link and it will take you over to my shop and you could book your consultation there. If you are interested in doing so, I also have other items that I sell that I handcraft myself. So the crystal trees you see on there, I did that. The bracelet you see on there, the jewelry, I did that. You know what I'm talking about? So a lot of those items that you see are items I personally handcraft and supercharged and activated myself. Um, so without further ado, we're not going to go into a whole diatribe. Uh, we're going to delve right into this reading. This isn't going to be a super lengthy reading. Um, it's so difficult for me to like keep my readings at, you know, at like 30 or 40 minutes because I use music and I get so invested and, and I get in my flow and, um, you know, so the readings become longer. So I'm not even going to say this is not going to be a long reading, but the intention is for it to be shorter than usual. Um, so let's see what, what the cards have to say, Ashe. So before we do uh, anything, before we proceed with the read, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning, Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo. So for any of you that may be wondering why is the video dark, why don't you see any picture, this is the Dark Matter series. I am not showing um, myself on film or on video because I'm just not feeling like that. I haven't been feeling like that 
a lot lately. So however I feel is what I go with. You'll, you'll find that. So, um, so yeah, I'm not looking to be on screen. I just want you to focus on, you know, the cards. If I do feel compelled to show you the cards, which is typically most of the time I will, you know, flip the, you know, the cloth up to show you the cards. Um, because I am the type of reader that likes to show and prove. I don't want you to just trust what I'm saying or to just submit your will to me and believe me. I want you to actually see the cards, um, you know, because I, I don't believe in submitting my will to anyone. Uh, so I wouldn't accept, expect you all to do that when it comes to me either. So I'm more of a show and prove type of gal. I like to show you better than I could tell you. So you, you will see me from time to time flipping up the cloth to show you the cards, to show you synchronicities, show you the songs and things of that nature. Cause that's just my, um, that's just my, my, my way of reading. That's just who I am as a person. So we have on the Klizok 1203 and we have Ka and Pers, uh, what's this, uh, Perseverant? Oh, uh, Perseveration. What, what is this? Perseveration and it spells, uh, it says still here and here is like air to like a throne. It's spelled like air. So you're, an, when you're an heir to a throne, it's like you're, you know, you are born into the bloodline of, you know, someone who is of royalty, who's of regalness. Um, what the, uh, 1203 reduces to is the number six. So six is associated with the lovers. Six is also associated with your first eye. So I definitely feel with that still here. Um, like I said, it's a play on words. Uh, so it's like, you know, with the six, um, it's given me that sense of like being in, um, equilibrium, you know, being in harmony. Uh, the six shows, you know, that duality on that card with the masculine and feminine energy. So I do feel like it's speaking to balance, uh, with still here, you're here because you've maintained that balance. You've been able to tap into, um, your strength, courage, and wise dome because three, um, deals with that solar plexus and it was 1203. So 1203, that's three, three. So threes are, you know, associated, like I said, with that solar plexus. It's also, uh, associated with that divine feminine, which is of regalness and royalty. Um, so I do feel like someone may have seen you go through or grow through, um, feminines and masculines, some sort of dark night of the soul journey. And you're still here persevering. You're still here, you know, um, strong, you know, stronger than ever. Uh, it's like almost that energy of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that's the epitome of what the death card represents. Um, the 12 is, you know, that number of the hangman. So it being 1203 is almost like there's someone observing you or someone looking at you from a completely different print vantage point or having a completely different perspective. Perhaps they're having some sort of aha moment, a light bulb moment, something's going off within their own, um, psyche where they're starting to see something clearly, uh, seeing something for, uh, what it truly is opposed to what, um, they may have been conditioned to think in the past. So with that three and that 12, that reduces to six, as we said, that six is associated not only with the lovers, but it's also your first eyes. So someone could be using discernment. This could be either your energy or someone you're attracting to you. Um, like I said, with still here, uh, that air is like someone really sees you've ascended and grown to this level of self mastery. Like you've, you know, been able to reach some sort of higher, uh, form of I'm hearing discipline, self-discipline, um, I'm hearing, you know, self mastery, um, and also just learning how to navigate, uh, tough situations, um, wisely. So that really takes a lot of, 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 of observing, you know, looking at things from, like I said, a, a different perspective, maybe getting a more bird, like a bird's eye view or being more logical. Um, but that first eye is wide open so you can see things clearly and someone also can see something very clear when it comes to you. Uh, someone could be from Brownsville, Brooklyn, um, because that's where Ka is from. Uh, we have Black Street and this is called Joy. So yeah, someone definitely feels like you bring them a lot of joy. So this could be 
you know, why that six also showed up because the six could be associated not only with the lovers, but also the six of cups. And we have the Mercury retrograde coming up next Wednesday on the 13th. So you know how that energy tends to bring a lot of past energy, past, you know, people, past circumstances could reappear. Um, but it's all, you know, some of it could be a test to see if you've overcome uh, these obstacles or if you've completed certain cycles, karmic lessons or learned karmic lessons. Um, and others could be genuinely coming back because um, they have good intention. So that's why it's important to use discernment and use your intuition uh, to see things clearly, to look at things from a different perspective and not just your emotions, but more so being um, logical about situations. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap and see what the cards have to say. So that's what I'm getting from that 1203 and the song Perseverance uh, still here. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have 44 and this says environment. So spirit is saying something is in your environment. And that always gives me the energy of like the eight of um, pentacles. Um, but it also gives me the eight of wands, you know, so this eight of pentacles is like, you know, I'm hearing blood, sweat and tears, hard work, um, determination, drive, ambition. Someone has their eyes on the prize. Someone is very disciplined in their craft or someone has been mastering their craft, sharpening their sword, getting lost in their work, getting lost in their passion. And you may have found someone or met someone in your place of employment or something related to business. Perhaps when you were handling your business, you may have bumped into someone or maybe there is some sort of associate at, you know, a merchant, um, you know, a merchant organization that you've, you know, befriended and that connection is, is, is deepening. Um, but I also feel this could also be, again, someone from your past that you may have planted seeds and roots with, maybe someone you may have lived around, someone in your community, someone that you may, you know, kind of pass. You, you may see this person in passing. Maybe this is a former colleague of yours, someone you used to live around, someone you used to go to school with that could potentially be coming in. Um, this is an all green card, this environment card, and it is a double number. And those of you that tune in to my channel know that whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that's you and whoever you're attracting to you mirroring one another. And the mirroring energy is usually um, very typical of a twin flame or soulmate connection. Um, this eight does associate, like I said, with what I feel is like someone incoming, someone that you may already have a history of a history with or someone you may be familiar with. Um, but this is someone coming in uh, willing to put forth the effort because I feel someone's heart is opened. I feel someone is definitely, um, their heart chakras opened up. Like they've been healing, growing, they've been getting stronger. They've been persevering as that song was saying. So I feel like, I felt like that was a, a typo because I couldn't read it because I felt like it was, it was spelled wrong, but that word was perseverance, um, perservation. You know, so when you're persevering through something, it's like you're showing resilience, you're showing strength. Um, eight is also associated with that strength card. So someone could building and building up, um, you know, the courage to come towards you, um, the courage to take action. Um, and this will be a surprise. And with joy, I feel you may be, you know, taken um, off guard like this may, you know, make you very um, overjoyed. It may surprise you. Um, someone may feel like you bring them joy. Um, but this is an all green card and the fours are associated with that heart chakra. So I absolutely feel like not only have you been healing and growing and just kind of mastering your craft and, and, and turning your attention to, um, yourself and, and your passions and your heart's truest desires. I feel like that also has aided in, in, in the healing process. And it's also taught someone else, um, you know, a thing or two, because you did have someone in that hangman status observing you and watching you from a distance. And in this numerology deck, the number 57 card is teaching and learning. And that 57 reduces to 12. So I definitely get a feeling like someone has been watching and they've been learning and they've been kind of just kind of studying you, getting a feel for your energy. But this is also healing them, you know, because you are a healer. When you're a healer, you know, you, you first have to heal yourself and then you can help heal others. And that's how others are kind of being drawn to you almost. It's like you have this very, um, you know, this very, uh, 
approachable or very earthy energy where people feel comfortable around you or people may feel safe you know you may be like a safe space for people um but i do feel like there's this beautiful energy of someone that wants to come in and collaborate build network with you um you know build a partnership with you build an alliance with you but this is someone that will put forth the effort um, someone may be very attracted to you as well. We have a tribe called Quest Plane, Benita Applebaum. Someone's name could be Benita. Someone could have a fatty. Someone could be from, um, I believe they're from um, Long Island, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a tribe called Quest. It's 12-12 on the clock, and 12-12 breaks down to that 3-3 again. That was breaking down earlier in the reading. So both of you could be in this you know, almost in this space, like it's a sacrificial space because it's almost like spirit is, you know, forcing you to see things from a different perspective. So if you have been on guard and if you have had walls up and if you've been on the defense and if someone else has also been in defense and there's been no communication, perhaps spirit is breaking those walls down or spirit is allowing you all to see something from a completely different lens. Maybe someone is now seeing you as someone that is like the apple of their eye. I'm hearing you are the sunshine in my life. And then I heard you are the apple. You know what I'm saying? Like the apple of their eye. Like you, you could be someone and then I got a ding. So that's very interesting. Um, so we meet on Zoom. Okay, I got a meeting on my, on my work phone. Sorry about that. So there's definitely, uh, um, I feel some incoming communication and when someone has some sort of, um, aha moment, I feel like there will be unexpected communication. Cause as I said, that eight was also given like the eight of wands, something coming in, um, someone taking action. You got nine, nine. So you got four, four, nine, nine, which still reduces to eight. Um, so this is definitely showing and I want to show you. So the nine, nine is compassion. So what was I saying about spirit putting two people in a position of, you know, kind of like a sacrificial position to look at things from a different perspective. So when you're showing compassion, that means there's no judgments. So spirit is forcing people to see things from the other person's vantage point, perhaps. Maybe there was a lot of judgment. There was a lot of um, or lack of trust. Um, maybe someone was holding on to resentments and animosities. And I feel like spirit is saying through compassion is the only way one can heal through compassion is the only way one can, you know, repair, um, a situation. Uh, maybe someone is feeling like, you know, someone could be very guarded as I was saying, you know, when you have a lot of walls up, that nine is definitely given that energy of, you know, defense mechanism. Cause I'm seeing the nine of wands where there's just a lot of walls up and it's a defense mechanism because you've been hurt time and time again by people you've trusted in your past. And so your only resort is to set up these walls so as to protect yourself. But spirit is saying now that you've learned these lessons, now that you graduated to that level of, level of self mastery where you are the heir to the throne as that divine feminine or divine masculine, the walls can come down, you know, um, because you now have a deeper, more profound understanding. You know what I'm talking about? And that's a confirmation yet again. So we got the nine, nine compassion spirit is saying, trust the process. Um, definitely someone's mustering up their strength. Someone wants you to be forgiving. Someone wants you to be kind. Uh, so the 13 card just popped out of my hand. 13 is the effort. It's an all yellow card. So that one and three, the one deals with the root. The three deals with the solar plexus, as I said. So I feel like there is someone who has been really healing, um, you know, from past trauma or healing from circumstances uh, that could have been karmic, uh, but they're also realizing and discovering perhaps, um, the error in their ways. You know, as I said, someone's seeing things from a different perspective. So we was at 12, the hangman. Now the 13 is like a death of the old mindset. You know, someone's going through that death, that rebirth, and they're emerging someone different. So this time around, it could be a divine masculine because the 13 reduces to four. So someone is really standing on their square now, really wanting to build and nurture. This is someone that's been holding on to you, ladies, or masculines. You could have a feminine that has been holding on to you, um, and you could have been kind of perceived as someone holding back. But the 13 is really alluding to the fact that someone didn't really put forth the effort or show the attention or appreciate someone or value someone in the way that they should have. They didn't make the effort. 
And that could have led to the demise of a relationship. Someone's now seen the, the mistakes of their ways. And it says, I choose you. The Mac soundtrack is playing. So someone is now coming back saying they choose you. Remember, I was saying you're going to get a surprising message. So this is Willie Hutch. Someone's name could be Willie, Willie, William, um, Will. Someone's name could be Billy, Bob, whatever the case may be. But this was someone who could have potentially been trying to be like a player player. They didn't know what to choose, who to choose. And I feel like the lack of effort is what potentially um, led to the demise of a relationship but with this 13 like i said it reduces to four that's the divine masculine the emperor but that's also dealing with the heart chakra so someone's heart is now open they're ready to love their heart chakra is open give me one moment while i respond to my um supervisor on my work phone give me one moment i'm gonna pause it so you don't have to hear all of that so yeah, so this 13 is showing that there was a lack of effort, but someone is now learning. And I feel like they had to kind of learn that they, they had to learn from losing you. Sometimes you got to lose someone in order to realize, um, you know, how you truly feel about that person. So with this 13, that definitely, like I said, deals with the death, the transformation. And the death is not just, you know, like a physical death. Maybe someone could have lost another person and it kind of put things into perspective. But this also could be just be just um, the death of old ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors, you know, getting rid of that player mentality or that, you know, that Mac mentality. Let me just show you. So we got the Willie Hutch and you can see there the Mac. So this is from an old black exploitation film called The Mac. And um, it was like a pimp movie, you know, but um, that's what we have there. And then look, we got perseverance here. So we were speaking of perseverance, um, and this is, you know, that energy that we saw earlier, uh, with perseverance. So that's like when you're showing resilience, you've overcome, um, you know, to achieve And that number four, we just saw four, four environment. And now we have the number four again, and we have this 13, which is four. So fours might be very significant for you all. Um, as I said, four deals with the divine masculine, the emperor, uh, four is also associated with the heart chakra. Um, the four could also just speak to some of you all could have been born on the fourth. So whether that's the 13th, um, the fourth, the 13th, the 22nd, um, you know, of a month, you know, whether it was October, you could have been born October 31st, first, you could have been born, um, November 4th, November 22nd, um, November 13th, uh, four is a significant number that could be some of your life path number. Maybe some of you all, um, you know, when you grew up, you had, you lived in apartment number four, maybe some of you live in apartment number four. Now, uh, whatever the case may be, maybe someone that you were dealing with was born in the fourth month or on the fourth day or on a day that reduces to four. So like I said, the four, the 13, the 22, um, those could be the days that your person may, um, you know, may live, you know, they may be, um, born on a day or on in the fourth month, uh, but four is a significant number for some of you all. Um, and it's also associated with the angels. So you may have a lot of angelic downloads, messages, feathers flying, ears twitching, you know, I mean, ears ringing, eyes twitching, hands itching. You know, you may have some lucid dreams right now. You may be bumping into some beautiful animal totems. It's just the way they communicate, you know, your angels communicate with you. Uh, sometimes you may have these flashes of weather, you know, heat, hot flashes, or you may feel cold suddenly. Like, you know, that could also be a presence of an angelic figure. Um, you may just feel the sudden need or urge to cry. Um, that could also be you know, it's a, a, a sensation that you may feel right now. We have the stylistics and this is called breakups to makeups. So some of you all, you could be dealing with the mother or the father to your children. Um, that emperor deals with, you know, that that's like that father figure, the authoritarian, uh, someone could have a background in law enforcement, security, military, um, they could definitely be someone who's like a leader or a boss, a boss. Maybe someone is, um, an alpha male, you know, that's a very alpha male type of energy or someone very, um, very matter of fact, very stoic. Um, they like to be in control. 
Uh, so you could be dealing with that type of energy. Um, so let's tap in <clears throat> and let's see what we got. So the card that flew out for your overall energy is that 13 effort. So I do feel like, you know, this time around someone is wanting to make the effort with breakups to makeups. It does sound like someone from your past as I was picking up with that number six, you know, the six of cups, someone returning, someone that made a mistake or made some sort of um, decision that they're now having some sort of regrets because remember we saw compassion and the fear that they have is that you may judge them, that you may block them, that you may have these walls up and they're hoping that they can, you know, somehow convince you to tear those walls down. But just remember the six also deals with your first eye. So use discernment, always go with your inner gumption, always go with that gut instinct. Um, and, and, and never allow anyone to just, you know, like tantalize you with words. Um, the best and greatest apology is change behavior. So if you see someone's approach is different, you see the way that they're speaking, the communication, the language, their love language towards you is on your frequency and vibration. That could be a sign that this person has in fact grown up, grew up, leveled up, ascended, matured. So those are what you go by. Never by words. You know, you could accept anyone's, um, not accept anyone's ap apology, but you could forgive anyone because the forgiveness portion of it is for you. Um, you don't have to accept anyone's apology if it's not genuine. You could leave it right there where they at. You you keep that until you really mean it. And if you don't mean it, life still goes on. But at the end of the day, like you you should change behavior is always the first sign that there's someone that's truly apologetic and remorseful for anything that they may have done. Um, and that's going to be their approach is to first straighten things out. Especially if the last time you saw them, there was uh, some sort of discord or some uh, discourse or some sort of, um, you know, heated exchange or argument or debate or, you know, they, they're going to want to first iron things out, straighten things out, clear the air, and then they will, you know, uh, come in um, and let you know how they really feel. Because I really feel that this is someone who's had some sort of um, wake up call, you know, and it's because they've been working on themselves. We saw that 4-4 environment. And I was speaking to, you know, someone really healing and opening up that heart chakra. Um, so what we have playing right now is DMX. That's my dog. And so rising power to DMX. Um, I always think of his acronym, Dark Man X. So someone could have really been just navigating their shadow side, really working through, you know, their shadow side. So they could have exhibited a lot of negative behaviors. Like I said, being a Mac, a play up pimp, you know, a lot of masculines get caught up in that that uh ideology that that's just who they're supposed to be and it's really just conditioning you know it's conditioning through movies conditioning through you know people you grow up with in your environment um not for all every this doesn't apply to everyone but most masculines um I really think that that's how you exhibit manhood is just how many broads you can you know how many broads you can lay down, you know, or tackle or, you know, you know, it's like the body account. You know, I mean, the body count is like that's what their whole mission is. Um, I saw an amazing video yesterday on Instagram Graham, and it was like this alpha male who was telling other males to like to not, you know, give up the the, um, you know, the diamond D. You know what I'm talking about? Like, preserve your ish. We we tell feminines that all the time. Your body's your temple. You know, at practice abstinence. But you never really see alpha males. You never really see men, you know, say that to other men. And so I found that to be very empowering. I felt that that was a message that needs to be out there. Because, you know, you people don't realize the, the, the energy that you exchange with people. And, and most of these people you're laying with are, are low vibration. I mean, they, they are low vibration, lost souls. Um, and that ish consumes you. Energy is transferable and people forget that when they sleep with other individuals, that energy they got, tra they're transferring it to you and your power source, you're transferring it to them. So it's almost like you're charging them while they're you know, sucking your life force from you. But I digress. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is the number four perseverance. We're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. So my supervisor mentioned me again. I mean, messaged me again. Let me see. What do we got going on? I got a meeting later, so I got to go in office. 
Let's tap in. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? So with that dark man X, someone definitely was dealing with their shadow side. Um, with that's my dog, I do feel like someone is wanting to come back more loyal because dogs really, you know, are um, indicative or they represent uh, loyalty. So someone definitely could be, you know, coming back a changed man, you know, especially with the 13 opening up the reading. And this is right next to who or what you're attracting to you. So we have three cards that just flew out and we have, we're right back at the 44 on the bottom of the deck. We started with that number and we have that again. So this is definitely saying someone's really serious about coming in and working together. Remember what I said about that eight of pentacles energy, someone really coming in, willing to collaborate, willing to partner up, willing to form and develop, you know, a partnership, a union, you know, this is someone willing to put forth that effort. So this is a beautiful energy and it really, you know, correlates even with the message of loyalty. Like this person is coming in loyal, they're coming in devoted, they're coming in intentional. So that's beautiful. And that's that 44, eight. So when we pull the card for how they feel about you, the 44 environment card is there on the bottom of the deck. And this 44, like I said, deals with the heart because it's green. The four deals with the heart chakra. So the green really is saying that this person does love you. They see you perhaps as someone that they want to pursue, which, which is why I was seeing that eight of wands in my mind's eye. But I also feel this is someone really working very hard, um, you know, to come in with something tangible, something to offer you. Uh, so they want to be able to uh, really let you know how special you are by their their deeds, their actions opposed to the, just their words. So this is a beautiful energy. Um, so what we have uh, that flew out is you have the number two patience. So the number two deals with the high priestess. Uh, the two is also the soul, uh, the sacral part of me. So this is someone who's really gonna, you know, be very, very mindful. It's like they're making decisions based off of what's best. So they're very cerebral. Uh, this could be someone that thinks a lot. So it's like they're trusting their intuition. Um, and they also know that you are very intuitive. So this is a potential for someone that could be, you know, sending you some divine messages because we have 13, which is four and the two that's six. So this is someone that could be sending you like intuitive messages, telepathic messages, or someone that you may really just kind of like be on this person's mind a lot. The two patience is also a form of action. So they could be really strategizing, trying to plan, prepare. They could be at a fork in the road where they're trying to decide, like I said, best course of action, the best approach, what to say, how to say it. Um, the two, the high priestess, the high priest, they carry divine wisdom, divine knowledge. So this could also be someone who is just as intuitive as you are, someone who's also worked on themselves, someone who's also built that spiritual strength and also has had some sort of awakening. Uh, because when you go through a transformation, um, you are, you know, really uh, graduating to another level of, of inner standing spiritually. So this could be someone who could see you as you know a like mind someone that they can have that equal give equal take uh someone that they can you know foresee themselves with collaborating with building with this is an uh, an energy of someone that does see you as their divine counterpart the yin to their yang because as i said this 13 and this 12 this reduces to six so that's that lover's energy so someone does see you as you know the their divine counterpart a soulmate um, we have war, me and my baby brother playing. So there could have been, you know, someone who was dealing with a lot of, um, you know, childhood trauma, uh, someone who could have been healing their inner child. Someone could have been going through, like I said, that dark night of the soul journey. And it's like, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but you have to, in order to grow through something, you have to confront it. So I feel with war, that's a battle, you know? And you win some, you lose some. Everybody doesn't win every battle, but you learn from them nonetheless. So someone has been really going through and growing through. Um, and this could be both of your energy because as I said, that too is really one and one. And one and one is really showing that there's first been a lot of work on the self. The one deals with that, so, um, that root chakra. Uh, so you both have been healing from past traumas. Uh, dealing, you know, with a lot of childhood traumas, past life traumas, familial traumas with me and my brother, 
baby brother. Some of you all could have um, a little brother or a brother who may be dealing with some difficulties right now. And um, I really feel like, you know, spirit is saying um, to, to send them love, you know, whether that be via messages, um, maybe someone needs to hear from you, maybe you need to reach out, maybe you just need to do some sort of um, consulting, you know, just let your, your, your loved one know that you you got their back, middle, and front, you know, because someone could be struggling right now. Um, but yeah, so we have, but yeah, we have, um, we do have this beautiful energy of two patients. And as I said, these all break down, this breaks down to six. So I just get, you know, a collaborative effort. I get balance when I see that I get harmony, you know, I get a harmonious connection. So the next card that flew out is 93 happy ending. So that's that divine feminine energy, that 12, someone sees you in this light because this is the card for how the person you're attracting or who you're attracting to you feels about you, beloved. So even if you're masculine, they see you as that divine masculine, that divine feminine. So they see you as someone that they want to give all their love to, according to Keith Sweat. So this is someone that they did open up their heart chakra, as I said. So they had to grow through some sort of pain. They had to get out of some sort of childish um, behavior, mannerisms, attitude, um, in order to, to grow up, to mature. So this happy ending is saying like they can envision a happy ending with you because as we saw the, this is how they saw you, um, in the very beginning. Remember we had Ka and that song was saying, um, it was saying, um, something about keeping air something about keep here something about an air and i was breaking down airs are like regal and royal so that's the empress and i mentioned the empress because we had 1233 when we started the reading and so that 1233 is definitely showing that there is and it wasn't 1233 i think it was 1203 when we started the reading but that 1203 was the six and so the threes i was breaking down because i was explaining that you know the three and the three reduces to six, but the three is associated not only with the solar plexus, but also that divine feminine, the empress. So this is how they see you. They see you as someone that brings a lot of happiness and joy. I was even hearing like apple of my eye, sunshine in my life. I was hearing that song playing in my mind's eye. And so right now we got Keith Sweat. This person may come back and may be trying to sweat you. Like, you know, they're going to really lay it on thick, really, really let you know how they feel. Um, this is someone whose name could be Keith. Someone could be from Harlem. But this is someone that's really willing to give you their love. Because remember, we had that 4-4 environment on the bottom of the deck still. We got back to this, you know. And we still have one more card uh, that came out for the um, for what's hidden. And we're going to pull that. But this 4 is definitely, you know, kind of uh, veggie backing off of this song. Especially with all this green. This green, you know, the 4s deal with the heart chakras. It's also that divine masculine energy but that four four reduces to eight so that could speak to someone really mustering up the strength the courage the wisdom or really trying to assert themselves um to take action to come towards you because the eight of wands is all action based so the next card we have is seven seven spirituality so this is what's hidden so didn't i tell you that you was attracting someone that was also very spiritual very intuitive they could communicate with you through these means we have nine and seven, seven. So seven, seven is on the bottom of the deck. Seven, seven breaks down to 14. 14 is moderation. Remember we have patience. So this is that person that's being very patient um, because they want to get it right. Good things take time to create. If you want some microwavable ish, that's not going to sustain and be durable, then you're rushed. But when you want something to really sustain and stand the test of time, then you're very patient. You're very meticulous. You're very intentional about your approach. And that's what I feel someone is doing. The seven, seven, like I said, 14, that moderation, the temperance, this is about someone also finding balance, finding equilibrium, which is what you all were doing. And this is what your person who are what your person is doing here. So that two patients is, is really showing whoever or whatever you're attracting to you, what's hidden is that someone is eventually going to come out and they're going to just pop out there because right now what they're doing is they're learning. You know, like I said, this is a very, um, this is an energy of learning and, and maturing and growing because 14 breaks down to five, which deals with the Hierophant, which is all about 
you know, that energy of, of, of studentship and tutelage and building your wealth of knowledge and researching and observing and investigating and, you know, and even seeking advice, you know, even um, watching someone, watching you perhaps and learning. But this 7-7 seven, seven spirituality, I was feeling like someone was communicating telepathically or intuitively. And that is what I'm seeing here. I'm definitely feeling like someone is, is communicating with you telepathically or dreaming of you. I feel this. I just heard a phone ringing too. Um, and this must be on um, the video that's playing. This is Prince Sign of the Times. So there's going to be a message. You know, somebody's going to call you because that 14 also deals with the throat chakra. I mean, that 5 also deals with the throat chakra. But I feel what's hidden is definitely like really a focus on just mastering one's craft. Because that's what I was picking up even with that 8 environment. is just like really just honing one's skill and mastering one's craft. Really just really ambitious energy. Um disciplined you know disciplined on you know mastering your craft um very passionate about whatever it is you're doing uh with prince i do feel like someone may come in like a prince you know like a a knight in shining armor almost you know gonna treat you like a princess or a queen or vice versa someone's gonna treat you like the king um like you're the heir of the throne and you know this is definitely given that energy as i said of like a king and queen or an empress and an emperor vibe uh but they're going to treat you like royalty and with sign of the times i feel you may see a lot of synchronicities uh you may be having a lot of lucid dreams maybe this person is having a lot of lucid dreams or having a lot of synchronicities that's making them feel the urge or feel um the need to reach out or to communicate um, but as I said, that five, the throat chakra is opening up. Um, and I feel like it's because someone finally has that, that download or some sort of divine intervention where it's a now, you know, it's like now I can take action. Um, and because it's next to the happy ending, I do feel like this is going to be something that makes you extremely happy because remember we had black street singing joy. So I feel like you will be, you know, you will be overjoyed. You'll be surprisingly um, happy, you know, especially with happy ending. So however the situation um, ends up, I feel like it's going to be a happy ending. So the outcome, let's get the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Two cards flew out for that, and we have five change. So this conversation will change everything. I feel like it's going to change the trajectory of your life. It's going to change the way in which, um, you know, the dynamic of this relationship, um, I feel this person has made a change. I feel you've made a change. Um, but I definitely feel that there is a positive change nonetheless, because I see a lot of yellow here, um, and, and yellow really deals with vitality, strength. It deals with new beginnings. Um, it deals with the truth. It deals with illumination and clarity. So what flew out for the outcome is we have 74 nature. So this is a very natural connection, a la natural. This is very easygoing. I feel like the connection you have with this person is just very organic. It's nothing superficial about it. It's just like you both have a lot of, of similar interests, commonalities, similarities. Um, someone you will have strong chemistry with. This is also someone that has a lot of love. This is also someone that may feel like you are... Um, you know, that like they could see themselves marrying you because the 74 breaks down to 11, which deals with justice. So I, I am feeling like there's clear communication that's going to change things, change the trajectory and the direction of your relationship, your diet, your um, even the direction of your life. Like things are going to change because something is just going to feel very natural. Um, this 11 also is giving me like. You know, that 11 breaks down to two and the two, as we see here, is is the patience card. But the two also deals with that high priest, high priestess. So this is also saying that this is someone, um, you know, I feel that can really, you know, who's really tapping into their intuition uh, and it's leading them to you because they may feel like you are, you know, almost that one that got away. You know, and that's why I felt like someone felt this urge or this urgency to reach out to communicate or to say something so as not to lose you, miss you, um, miss this opportunity. Perhaps this is like 
the last window of opportunity. Um, this person is very much aware, you know, um, that the connection between you and them is very natural. It, it's like, it's not forced. Maybe the relationships and the people they dealt with in the past, there could have been a lot of physical attraction or a lot of these, these external things that factored in, but nothing was ever spiritual. Nothing was ever on a, a soul level where it is with you. With you, it's more spiritual. It's more, it's more of a soul connection. It's more of that energy of like, like I said, the lovers. There, there's this, this, uh, this synergy, this chemistry, um, and that is that is something special. And it's just natural. It's like they they could be their authentic selves, their natural selves. And I feel they communicate a lot telepathically, or they may dream of you a lot, you know. Or this could be you, you know, but someone definitely thinks of you a lot, definitely carries you in their spirit um, a whole lot. Uh, these last three cards here reduced to seven, seven, seven. So seven, 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 actually, because we got nine, three, and then seven, four, that's seven, and then seven, seven, spirituality. So there's definitely this energy with someone who's feeling, um, this, 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 like there's a spiritual connection more than anything with you. You know, they can, they carry you in their spirit. You may carry them in your spirit. Uh, this person definitely desires to see you. We got, will I see you again? You haven't seen this person. And remember I was picking up earlier with the nine, nine compassion that both of you were kind of with these walls up. So there's no communication, no contact, both put each other on timeout, or there's just been no communication at all. But what we have, the last card, 10, look at that. So someone has been wrapping up a karmic cycle. So this cycle has been completed. So every ending denotes a new beginning. So someone has been, so you've definitely, um, you've been perhaps someone's inspiration to leave a karmic situation, to walk away from a toxic karmic relationship. Because this is what this person is doing right now. They're wrapping up a cycle. And someone could have been born in, um, in 1974 also, um, but I'm definitely just getting a feeling like someone has just wrapped up a cycle and now they can, you know, pursue what it is that they truly want or what they're really passionate about. And I feel like this is them coming towards you, especially with, will I ever see you again? Uh, this could be someone's sentiment. Like, you know, they could be just up in their head thinking about, dang, you know, and this is called um, a group is, uh, that's called the Sacred Souls. So what was I saying about this connection being like a sacred connection, sacred bond, a spiritual bond, you know, some sort of, so this is the sacred souls. So this person definitely sees you as someone that they have, um, a spiritual, spiritual connection with. And this is someone that's really coming back to pursue you. So let's get some messages from Tarot and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So yet again, Ace of Pentacles, something tangible, something real. This is what they want to offer you. This is someone that's definitely, um, you know, really looking at you uh, as someone that they do want to, um, they want to, you know, give to you equally. They want to offer you uh, this the happily ever after. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is really that the epitome of, you know, happy house, happy spouse. You know, this is the epitome of having a support system, someone that loves you, um, good, bad, and indifferent, someone that's very, um, very much a rock, someone willing to collaborate, willing to compromise. Um, this is someone that can, you know, that's very loyal and devoted. This is a family woman, family man, someone domesticated. Um, but they also have something to offer. So they're, they're very much about family. They're about the home, the hearth, and building that family, more importantly. So this is someone that could be offering you uh, something tangible like a ring. You could also be finding yourselves um, receiving a lot of blessings. A lot of your wish fulfillments may be coming in. Money may be improving. Um, you know, the, the holidays are coming up. So maybe some of you may receive some unexpected gifts. We got Nas uh, playing the message. So some, many of you may receive a message from someone, as I said. Um, and that conversation will change everything. So what we have on the split is we have the King of Wands and this Ace of pentacles so that king of wands is you know someone who's very action oriented they they take action you know um they are not shy they go after what it is they want 
They're very passionate. Uh, they're also, you know, very, very much uh, master manifestors. He's holding that wand, you know, that staff, which could also be an instrument of manifestation, you know. So that's a very powerful energy, very passionate energy, as I said, um, very action oriented. I see the page of swords here with the ace of swords. So someone is, you know, getting out of the stage of being like, um, you know, that secret admirer or that I spy, however you perceive it. And they're going to just take action and say what they have to say. Remember what I was saying about someone wanting to clear the air, you know, really finally uh, getting to that space where, um, you know, where they are uh, feeling more um, empowered or encouraged or motivated to express a truth or to confess something or to even apologize uh to right their wrongs you know uh this is someone that's definitely prepared to right their wrongs um and this is also showing that someone is cutting something releasing something that no longer serves them there's been a lot of investigation you know because that page of swords is really like a little private investigator so they gather a lot of intelligence you know before they take action so it's a very smart way to uh prepare um you know to communicate with someone is you want to gather all the intel you possibly can before you come in and that's what i feel this person has been doing is just trying to gather all the intel they can before they kind of you know execute before they take action and say what it is they really want to say um, the moon is here with the Ace of Swords. So this is intuition. This is dreams. There's a lot of cerebral activity. And I just get someone really dreaming a lot. And especially with Nas playing the message, I feel someone's preparing to say something. This person does dream of you a lot. You got the Empress here. So I mentioned the Empress. And here is the Empress. And there's also the moon. So this person does dream a lot about you, think a lot about you, maybe during the evening time. She's very attractive. But you can see the two towers. So this is that shadow work. This is someone that's really recognizing your beauty, recognizing how happy they were in your presence, how wise you are, how earthy you are, how loving, tender, caring, even how dapper, debonair, devoted, kind you were, giving, protective. It's like even if you're masculine, just take that energy and flip it. Um, but this is really showing, you know, that this person watches you. They dream of you. And, you know, it's about trusting your intuition. Someone's emotions are almost running high. Because when you think of, you know, the moon, it controls the tides of the sea. So it's it's that, that magnetic pull, you know. So it's like it's really showing that this person, that could be why there is this urgency to come towards you. Because they, they can no longer deny it or suppress these feelings or hide what they want. So that is really about, you know, intuition and you know, and knowing when's the right time, the divine time to take action. That's why they're patiently waiting, um, perhaps from their, their cues, from their angels, their spirit team, because we did see that 444 um, earlier. So someone could really be just, you know, connecting with their, their higher self or collaborating um, or getting consultation from their uh, Christ consciousness, their higher self to, you know, instruct them on the best course of action or the best way to take action. So um, all of these cards reduce to four, two, six, three, nine, uh, five, seven, eight. So all of this is eight. So definitely it makes sense that this karmic completion is the last card that all reduces to eight. Karma is all about what goes around, comes back around again. So whoever this is, spirit could also be reminding you that someone from your past could be returning um, and that's why I was going into the whole diatribe about, you know, um, someone who's truly remorseful is going to exhibit change behavior. Um, that is the apology, you know, uh, not somebody just mouthing the words and then exhibiting all the same, you know, badass behavior, um, as before it's like real empathy or real, um, real remorse is is going to be exhibited through someone's behavior changed changed behavior let me emphasize the word changed behavior because remember we did see the name that uh change on the bottom of the deck of the numerology so when you see that that's when you know okay this 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 may be worth my time you know um so with the card that 
is on the bottom of the deck is we have the tower. So remember I was mentioning, and this is clarifying the effort card, and this is the overall energy. So this effort, remember 13 is a death, and the towers also denote endings, not just any type of ending. As you can see here, this is death, this is destruction. So spirit has really, you know, brought some things to the forefront because the red flags weren't being, you know, paid attention to. So spirit really had to come in and just flood this whole town because there was a lot of dirt being done, you know, behind the scenes, um, even in plain sight. But, you know, like I said, people weren't paying attention to the red flags. So this is like that storm warning that was ignored and the storm done came through like a tsunami and just washed ish away but this is also you know destroy and now rebuild so this offers an opportunity for you know not only this purge to take place but also the opportunity to rebuild to heal and to adopt you know a completely different perspective and emerge someone new from this experience so someone has experienced that tower because remember I showed you on the moon card, the two towers. So both of you and the person you're attracting to you are mirroring one another in terms of having some sort of death and a transformation. And so we see here clearly that that tower is the reason why that number 13, which is dealing with death, is here because of someone's lack of effort. When you're not putting forth the effort, then you won't see any results and that's really what happened so someone was really living perhaps you know um in an illusion uh there's mountains here which also denote difficulties uphill battles a lot of lies deception trickery and as i said spirit will come through and knock the tower down and you have to rebuild so this time this situation is going to be real rebuilt on a more solid solid foundation and so we have toby nuigui i shine so with I shine, that's like, you know, this is also um, spirit shined a light on a situation that uh, was was hidden. You know, someone was definitely not privy to um, what was happening behind the scenes. But I also feel someone is noticing another person shine, noticing how someone was able to recover, how someone was able to recuperate. And this is also um, very attractive. It's also very um, empowering, you know, inspiring. Uh, when you think of someone who's been through a tower moment and, and what it requires to be able to rebuild and to not only rebuild, but also find that stability and self-sufficiency and independence, um, you know, on your own, it, it really can be a very, um, you know, inspiring and empowering thing to bear witness to. And so that's why I was picking up like that teaching and and learning energy with the 12 that we saw earlier, you know, um, when we started the reading, because I feel like that was that, that wake up call, you know, even this can be a wake up call, you know, having some sort of ending, a sudden ending and all of your lies being exposed, like spirit is forcing you now, you know, to look at things from a different perspective. And as I said earlier, after the 12, you know, that hangman, you have the 13, which is now like owning your ish and, and having that death of old, you know, ideologies, belief systems and habits. Uh, what we have playing right now is Buster Rhymes. You will never find another me. So that's what this person may have realized. That was the grand epiphany that someone has had is like, damn, they're never going to find another Scorpio like you. Uh, perhaps this was your sentiment about someone else. But that's what someone realized after you know, in this aftermath is like, damn, I let a good thing go. And remember, we had that Max song playing earlier when we was breaking down this 13. So it's like someone realized like their play of ways is what could have potentially cost them you, which is why we saw that compassion card and why there could have potentially been, you know, this feeling of like, you know, someone having walls up. So the card we have on the bottom of the deck is the two of wands. And this is we're about to pull a card for the patients, two of patients. So see that member when I was saying someone was trying to make a decision, someone was stuck between, you know, um, you know, this, this fork in the road or having to choose and, and, and good things take time to create. So I do feel like someone was very stubborn and bullheaded, but if you look, look what showed itself underneath the two of wands is the star and see how he's screaming in agony. It's like someone's realizing their bull, you know, bullheaded ways, stubborn ways, could have really cost them you because remember what I said about someone making a wrong decision only to discover that 
you were the right choice all along. So someone could really be living in agony. And that's why it's patience is required because they're trying to figure out a way to come towards you or to return. So why is this too? And with you will never find another me. And this is featuring um, Mary J. Blige. Someone could be from Yonkers, New York. Someone's name could be Mary. Um, so someone could be coming back with a rhyme and a reason. You know, why is this too patience here for who or what? Our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. And so we have this, what is this? The Six of Cups. I told y'all, someone from your past is returning. Didn't I tell y'all? I, I felt that energy like someone from the past. And this is the Six and the Two reduces to Eight. So that's them. The Strength is the Eighth card. So I feel like that's them mustering up the Strength. That's why Patience is required. Because they're aware the good things take time to create. Like they got to take their time to get it right. They know that you're wiser. They know that you're an empress or an emperor. They know that you're in your, you know, you done tapped into that God frequency. So you have knowledge yourself. You're highly intuitive. So you're not just going to fall for the okie doke. Not anymore. So this king of wands, this is who they're channeling. They want to take action. This is the energy for who, uh, how they feel about you is passion. You know, he's carrying that wand. That's a very, or that staff. That's very felicious. But the way he's, he's holding it is as, as if he is, like manifesting or scrying so it's as if he's using it as an instrument to manifest you and they want this happy ending you know so this person could be manifesting manifesting you why is this happy ending here thank you spirit i told you they see you as a wish fulfillment but also i told you they want to communicate see that the ace of cups i mean the ace of swords part of me so how they feel about you is they want to confess something or express something or maybe just simply apologize clear the air I was picking up clear in the air, straighten things, you know, straightening things out, you know, apologizing even. That's the Ace of Swords. You know, they feel like you are also very wise, like you are, you know, very sharp. You could have a business, you could be um, a business, you know, owner, and you could be just like you have some, so, like something you're doing is really, really, um, it's very, uh, it's, I'm hearing the word groundbreaking. Uh, or you're revolutionizing ideas. You have fresh perspectives, fresh, some sort of fresh business approach or something that you're doing is just seen as very, very successful. It's on fire. It's hot. You know, it's like, it's, it's just blowing up is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Like you could be having some sort of really, uh, successful new start, like a very triumphant new start, but they also are wanting to express something to you. You know, this 93 and this ace, that's like, the four so this is you know perhaps a divine masculine that may be confessing how they feel about you that they have the, have the hots for you because you can see he's working with steel or working with this metal and it's hot that's how you shape you know so it's like this is what they want to do they want to re you know they want to um they want to re frame you know the conversation or they want to repair it even <laughs> But this is definitely them wanting to, you know, take onus. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. I've been saying that. That's how they see you. So this is what they see. This, they see you're made in their likeness. And we have DMX, Hold Me Down, featuring Alicia Keys. So this person has someone that could potentially be holding them down. Because if you look on that Nine of Cups card, there's like a snake that's like in between this feminine energy and this masculine energy and someone could be trying to hold someone down or hold someone back which means they could be feeling bound stuck stagnant you know someone could really be trying to come in between this connection and there is a snake you know and snakes you know they're not always um i mean i don't look at any animal totems as bad but you know because this song hold me down a lot of people think of it as a, a positive like um, statement like, oh, I'm gonna hold you down. But like me being as I am with words, like I, I study the etymology of words. So when you say hold someone down, like think of what you're, when you're holding someone down, that means they can't get up, you know? So for me, I'm very literal with certain things, even though I know what they mean. You know, I, j I just think about the vibration of the word. So this person is being held down by this snake and we got Alicia Keys. Let me show you what's playing. DMX, and remember what I said about DMX being the acronym for Dark Man X. So someone could have had some sort of dark energy. Um, you know, I'm hearing someone that could have been kind of keeping them stuck and stagnant. 
but someone felt like they were being held down, being held back. And we got this seven of cups here with the spirituality, and this is clarifying the seven, seven, I mean the seven, seven, um, seven of cups clarifying the spirituality, 77. So this is that person that was wearing a mask and not being their authentic self. They had a lot of options. Remember we had that Mac song playing and this is what they want. You know, this is what they truly want. They want to return. See up at the top, it's like he's coming back and he's offering this feminine. But this person is daydreaming about how to do that. So it's because they know that in the past they could have messed things up by, you know, treating you like another option or, you know, not really giving you the time and the attention. And so they could be coming back, you know, almost like because it looks like he's holding a bouquet of flowers and he's handing it to this woman. But this also, like I said, looks like someone daydreaming on how to do that. So they could be maturing. We have um, soul for real. So this person does feel like you are their real soulmate. Like you, I was picking that up. You got soul for real, candy rain. So this is how they feel about you. They feel very much, you know, like they got they got the hots for you. They got, you know, they're, they're sweet on you. They feel you're sweet. They feel this connection is deep. You know, they're starting to realize this truth. And 777 breaks down to 21. There can be distance. 777 is the 21, which is the world card in traditional tarot. Some of you all could be seeing 777s. That's a sign that, you know, remember I was picking up on signs and synchronicities and we also had print saying sign of the times. So this person is getting a lot of downloads. 21 does break down to three. So this person's daydreaming about you, feminines, daydream about you, masculines, you know, and there can be physical distance, emotional distance. There could be no contact at this time, but they're trying to figure out how to close the gap. And this is what's hidden is daydreaming. Someone was wearing a mask. Someone wasn't being their authentic self. But this is how they dream of you with candy rain. And we have this uh, Knight of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull the card for 74 Nature and the Karmic Completion. So this person wants to come back and give. Remember, we had the Effort card 13, which opened up the reading for, you know, the overall energy. So this is how they want to come back, like showering you with gifts, being generous. A very beautiful energy. So wh why is the 74 Nature and 10 Karmic Completion here? for our beautiful okay so we got a bunch of cards so we got the eight of cups so this is someone returning this is someone really you know pleading their case you know offering you something real you can see this person like standing at a podium and speaking so this is someone returning like really pleading their case we also have the four of swords so someone has been healing from heartache and loss they've been recovering they're taking onus and accountability and you can see this person is like taking steps up so they're taking initiative to, like I said, recover. And there goes the world card I just mentioned. So there is distance. But this person is watching and learning. This is this always speaks to, you know, reaching that level of self-mastery. You also have the eight of cups, the ace of cups. So they're coming in, or the queen. Yeah, that's the ace of cups. So this person is definitely coming in to let you know that they love you. And we also have the um, temperance, which is another card I mentioned. So this temperance is saying this was, you know, the reason why divine timing was of essence. You also have this empress here. So this person is very attracted to you, very much drawn to you, uh, finds you to be very powerful. So I feel they're trying to match your fly. We also have this king of wands. So this is that person that's been manifesting you back into their life. And lastly, we have the ten of cups. So this is emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, joy. This is someone that feels like you are the yin to their yang, the yang to their yin. This is definitely someone who is putting forth the intention. Spirit was saying good things take time to create. This is someone coming back. Very intentional. This is someone returning. And I feel like spirit wants you to, you know, look at the behavior, you know, make the decision on your own. This doesn't have to be, you know, someone who... Um, you return to simply because they're returning. I, I don't believe in that. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Pentacles and the Hermit. The King of Pentacles and the Hermit and the Hierophant. So a lot of, of um, powerful energy in this reading, Scorpios. And I just feel like you have to make your own decision. Choose wisely. Um, don't just choose someone just for the sake of choosing them either. You know, just because they're returning. Like, like I said, the only apology you should be accepting is change behavior. But you could forgive anyone, you know. And just because someone is returning doesn't mean you have to take them back. Especially if it's like, you know, if it's a toxic karmic ex, then you really, really need to, you know, reconsider that. 
um, because the, I don't feel you're supposed to go back to toxic karmic ex. I feel you're just supposed to learn the lesson and, and, and forgive, you know, if it's been difficult for you to forgive someone, then, you know, maybe that's what you were supposed to take away from, um, them returning is the forgiveness and being able to sever that, that cord for once and for all. Um, for some of you, there could be like a past life love, strong spiritual bond you have with someone that is from your past that you are coming into union with for the first time because you may not have been in a relationship with this person ever. It was just very much maybe dating, um, just seeing one another. You know the terminologies people use. You just chilled together and hung out together, but it never you never took it seriously. You know, it never got serious, I should say. Maybe you did take it seriously and they did it. But what I'm saying is that type of scenario, that could be something you can definitely um, reconsider because you never were in a relationship with them. It never took off, you know, but if you were in a karmic relationship with someone, there was a lot of lies and deception and games being played. Um, you know, that the onus is on you to figure out whether you want to, to go back to that person. We have one, one, one on the bottom. I mean, on the clock right now, and we're about to close out the reading. So in that, um, on that note, we're going to end the reading there. But um, I just wanted to send you all this message. Thank you all for tuning and tapping in. Till next time, I send you a big fat ashe, yo. Peace, love, and light, y'all.